just look at what I have right here, the Leica Q3. This is actually the first time I'm holding a Leica, so this is a pretty special moment for me, especially if you consider that this camera costs $6,000 which is pretty insane. But today I wanted to compare it to my Sony a7C II and the 24 to 70 mm G Master Mark II. So I'm actually going to look for a couple of compositions and then I'm going to frame it exactly the same on the Sony a7C II and the Leica to see how different the images will look. So we've got this pretty nice composition over here, obviously because we've got all these leading lines from the trees and stuff. So we're going to shoot a photo at 28 mm on the Sony and on the Leica. Something that I can already tell is that the screen is so much more high quality, the colors look way better on the screen. So let's play a little game. You're going to guess which photo is shot on which camera. The weather was all over the place, we first had some very beautiful weather but then it quickly turned around and the sky became grey and it started pouring rain but then the skies cleared up again. So it was constantly shifting between good weather and bad weather. So I have already found another composition I want to capture, so this over here. I think it will be nice because we have this tree over here and to the left side over there and here we have this nice puddle and reflection the water and obviously we're trying to shoot everything at 28 millimeter because the Leica is also 28 millimeter it'll be a fair comparison between the two and right now we're shooting at f5.6 and a shutter speed of 1 over 125 seconds So now we're going to take some detailed photos of this pine cone over here. We're going to put it on this tree stump thing. Let's take one with the Sony first. And the great thing is that with the Sony 24 to 70 G Master Mark II, I can already get pretty close. It's almost like you're shooting macro, so it's pretty impressive from this lens. Okay, these look pretty good. But apparently, the Leica has a special macro mode. So let's see if we can get even closer with a Leica. Okay, we're in macro mode. Okay, nice. From what I can see right now is that they're pretty similar in terms of how close we can get. So that's pretty impressive from both cameras. Photos look really good though. looking for some other compositions I think a photo from here to there would look pretty good and also this other side over here because of this giant puddle but I would like for these people to go away then because they're kind of ruining the shot uh, hmm. I don't think this composition works that good because we're too wide from this angle so maybe this one yeah we'll go with this one I'm also really curious to see how the quality of the Leica is going to hold up when we crop in with it because 
the photos are 61 megapixels, so the file sizes are pretty huge. I thought that there were like 70 megabytes or something, so that's pretty crazy. The screen is just so beautiful of the Leica, the colors look so good. I think it's clear that the Leica RAW files look a bit warmer, but that might also be because the auto white balance feature from both the Sony and the Leica work a bit differently. To be completely honest, I don't see any differences between the Sony or the Leica RAW files. The blacks might be a bit better on the Leica, like there might be a bit better micro contrast. I try to edit the photos from both cameras as similar as possible. And I think that the Leica RAW files might be a bit easier to grade, but I don't really mind having a bit harder work to grade because I love color grading. And you also shouldn't forget that the Sony 24 to 70 mm G Master Mark II worked its magic as well because it's a super sharp lens, the autofocus is insanely fast, it renders the color beautifully, so I have nothing to complain about with this lens. But anyway, I don't think you should compare the Leica with any cheaper lens than this one because the lens on the Leica is supposed to cost $6,000. So that's pretty crazy. It's also a pretty big and heavy camera. I mean, I wouldn't consider this an everyday carry camera, but I do appreciate the craftsmanship that went into this because apparently all of these Leicas are handmade and that's something pretty cool. If you're looking for an everyday carry camera, I would rather recommend the Fuji X106 camera or the Sony a7C II, for example, with a 35mm prime from Zeiss or Samyang. And obviously these lenses aren't optically as good as the Leica, but they get the job done. But in this case, I think you shouldn't expect the same quality like on the Leica because the Samyang 35mm f2.8, for example, costs $250. And yeah, like I already told you, the Leica lens apparently costs $6K. So Pretty big price difference. Anyway, if you're interested in seeing this everyday camera kit with my Sony a7C II, check my YouTube video over here. I still think it's pretty impressive that the Leica has a 28mm f1.7 lens and that the camera is full frame because you're still going to get that beautiful bokeh even though you have a pretty wide focal length. So if you get pretty close to your subject, you're going to get some nice smooth blur. And that's something that we obviously saw with the pine cone shot. I'm actually not really sure if I'd ever buy a Leica myself. I probably would if I had the money because it's a Leica. But anyway, I'm not really sure what I expected from the Leica because how much different can the image look these days, right? I mean, every modern camera produces a very good image from itself already. You could basically almost get the same colors out of every single camera. I didn't get that much time to play around with the Leica, but I really did enjoy my time that I had with it. It was super easy to use and the thing just looks really beautiful. But I do think though that the Leica Q3 or a Q2 or any of these expensive Leica cameras is probably not worth it for a lot of people. I think the way we should look at a Leica is like at high-end watches. It can get the same job done as a cheaper tool, as the same watch, but in the end, it's not Leica, right? I mean, you could get some better colors out of it and the time, for example, could be more accurate, but in the end, is it that important in the long term? I mean, is this quality difference actually worth that price? Not really. You might be able to get a similar image out of your Sony or a Canon camera, but I think that the way you could compare this is like, you wouldn't want to compare a Porsche to a Tesla, right? Because a Tesla just fucking sucks and I hate Teslas. And it's kind of the same like, you wouldn't want to cook your steak in a microwave compared to like in a steel pan, right? 
But in the end, it's a statement item. It's an item that's not going to lose its value. And it's something that you can be proud of because you just appreciate the craftsmanship that went into making products like these. By the way, my friend Dylan told me that getting a spare battery for this Leica costs like 250 euros, that the thumb grip also costs 250 euros, that the flash costs 480 euros. So these prices are like pretty insane. I mean, you already pay like $6,000 for a camera and then you have to like pay an additional 500 to thousand dollars to get like a full setup that's pretty crazy <laughs> it's a really beautiful camera and i bet that it really inspires you to go out and to take some photos every single day that's something that the fuji x100v did for myself in the past as well maybe i didn't shoot the perfect subject matter i would still like to shoot cars or like models portraits with the leica for example so Maybe this is something that we can arrange in the future. I would love to have a discussion in the comments down below about why that you actually love to shoot Leica over other camera brands and in what aspects that you think it's better in terms of image quality, colors, and so on. Thank you so much, Dylan, for letting me try out your Leica. By the way, check him out on Instagram because he's a commercial photographer and he also makes some amazing travel content. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy the video, you'll probably enjoy one of these videos as well. Come out. Peace.